Aneta Gorgieva is one of the many Bezlan mothers. Her story is tragic. Aneta and her baby were among the few hostages let go, but she was forced to leave her older daughter Alana behind, a decision that will haunt her forever. I think it's got harder because in the beginning there was pain, but there was also hope. Over time you learn to live with your pain, but then you understand nothing will change and your child will not be returned to you. The conflict in South Ossetia and Georgia has stirred up painful memories. The Bezlan women are on their way to help a group of South Ossetian refugees. The whole world came to help us when our children were murdered, supporting us morally just the same way we were supporting these people. These women and children desperately need all the aid they can get. Many of them are from Skinvali in South Ossetia. They lost everything in the bombing. This school in Bezlan has become their home. We are very grateful. They sympathize with our problems. Because in this town, they've gone through similar terrible experiences. They know what cruelty is. The events of Bezlan were some of the blackest days in Russian history. Around a thousand people were crammed into the school gymnasium by pro-Chechen separatists. A three-day standoff only ended when two explosions destroyed part of a gym and provoked a gun battle. Three hundred and thirty-four people were killed, more than half of them children. School number one is now a permanent memorial, a silent reminder of those terrible events. These water bottles are part of the memorial here, particularly poignant because during the three days of captivity, the hostages were given no food or water. The sweltering heat inside this gym took its toll on the children. This is just one of the many horrific ordeals they were put through. The survivors blame many of the deaths on the security forces botched up rescue attempt, firing on the gym before it was fully evacuated. So far, no senior official has ever been brought to trial. The wait for justice has been exhausting. But by giving their time and understanding to the refugee children of South Ossetia, these Bezlan mothers have found a new purpose in life. Nazanin Mashiri, Al Jazeera, Bezlan.